Alright guys, this is Waleed. Today's problem is the two thrown ball. Balls. So in this problem they, they have a blue ball and a red ball. The blue ball start in the beginning with a speed of 22.6 at a height of 0.7 and the red ball is going down with a speed of 9.7 but it's 2.8 seconds after the blue ball is thrown. So we need to take that into consideration when we start solving for uh, this problem. The height was 28.9 meters from the top. Okay. So in the first question, what is the speed of the blue ball when it reaches its maximum height? Um, obviously when it goes up the maximum height, that means the velocity is going to be zero at that point. Because after that it's going to go down. So, so V final is going to be zero on this one. So how long does it take the blue ball to reach its maximum height? So maximum height, that means the velocity final is going to be zero. So let's use this equation, which is V final is going to be equal to V initial plus A T, acceleration times time. So T is going to be equal. So we know the velocity final is going to be equal to zero. We know V initial, so we're trying to find the time. So this one is going to be T equal 22.6 divided by 9.81, which is the acceleration. Okay, so that's going to be equal to 2.303 seconds. Third question, what is the maximum height the blue ball reaches? Okay, so they're looking at a distance right now. So for this one, we're going to use V final squared equal V initial squared plus 2 and then acceleration, which is going to be G, 9.81, times the distance, which is X, or you can call it Y, where it's just the distance, uh, depending on your preference. So for this guy, we know that V final is going to be 0. Okay. So it's going to be V initial squared divided by 2A, which is 22.6 squared divided by 2 times 9.81 and that will give us 26.032 but they're asking about the maximum height um, this is if it start from 0 um, the y initial start from 0 this is the um, the maximum height but it started from initial distance which is the 0.7 so we're just going to add 26.032 plus 0.7 Okay, and that will equal to 26.732 okay. meters. The fourth question, what is the height of the red ball 3.64 seconds after the blue ball is thrown? So we know that the V initial for the red ball is 9.7 for my question. And then the acceleration is 9.81. And then the, the time. So the time for this one is 3.64. But it starts after the blue ball is thrown. Okay. Not after the red ball is thrown. So you have to minus 2.8. Which is the after the blue ball is thrown. So that will give us 0.8. Okay, so that it's easy right now. You just have to understand this. Okay, so for this guy, let's use the equation. We're trying to find the height. So x is going to be equal to 9.7 times the time, which is 0.84. Now it's being messy my pen. Hold on a second. A4, point A4, plus point five, nine point eight one, and then point A4 squared. Okay, and the x for this one is going to be eleven point six. 
So, but this distance is when it started from the top, okay? So, going from the top, which is going from here, when the Red Bull goes down, it's going to go distance of 11.6, but they want the distance from the bottom down to here. So what we need to do is just 28.9 minus 11.6. So 28.9 minus 11.6, and that's going to give us 17.29. Okay. Okay, sweet. So for the fifth one, how long after the blue ball is thrown are the two balls in the air at the same height? So this one is a little bit tricky, it's just um, doing some algebra in it and make sure you put the negative and the positive signs in the right place. Okay, so for this one we're going to use, I wrote it down because I don't want to write it wrong for you guys. So now I, w I want to use the distance um, as y because it's in the y direction. Minus y initial, so this is y final minus y initial. It's going to be equal to velocity initial times the time minus 0.5 and then g times the time. Okay. So we're going to use this for both equations. So what do they have both in common when they meet? They have the y final, the distance of the of the the point that they're going to meet, which is the y final, is going to be the same. So we need to find what's y final for each equation and put them equal to each other. And at that point, this is where gonna, they they will meet. And then the variable t, where we'll we will solve for it. Okay. So bear with me, guys. So y final for the, let's do the blue ball, y final for the blue ball, which is going to be the same for both of them. We take this to the other side, which is going to be y initial for the blue ball plus v initial times time for the blue ball minus 0.5 g time for the blue ball. So now let's understand the time because the time there's a difference because one started at 2.8 after 2.8 and the one started at time equals zero but let's let's go with this right now and then for the y final for the red bull is going to be equal to um, the y initial for the red bull uh, plus v initial for the red bull this will be for this one too and then time for the Red Bull minus 0.5 G time for the Red Bull. So now we have three variables right now. We have the Y final, but the Y final for both of them are the same for these guys, are the same. And the we have the Y initial, we have the Y initial for both of them. We have the, um, where, did, where did they start, the position of them. But, and we have also velocity initial for both of them. But we don't have the time that they're the time that they're gonna meet is what we're trying to solve for. Okay? So we need to get rid of the or we're gonna put the y final, so like this. So y final for the red is gonna be equal to y final for the blue. Okay. So the time comparison comparison for both of them is if you look at the timeline. So at time equals zero, the actual time, okay, um, the blue ball, the time of the blue ball is zero too. So we know that T blue is going to equal to the time, the actual time. Okay, and then after 2.8 seconds, the time, the, uh, the red ball is going to go down, okay. So T, and then I wrote it down, T minus... 2.8 so to understand this now the 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 time for the red bull when it starts it's already um, at 2.8 so if we put time equal to 2.8 that means the time for the red bull is going to be zero that's how I understand it 
Okay, so we put them. So T T R is going to be equal to two to T minus two point eight. Erase that. So now we sub those guys in this equation, and the T blue is going to sub it in that equation. Okay. And then we just do a mathematic um, algebra in it. So let me write both of them down. So y initial for the blue ball plus v initial for the blue ball and then t blue ball. This is going to be the same so let me just write it in t minus 0.5 g T. This was the T. Okay. Equal to Y initial of the red ball plus V initial for the red ball. Then time, but now the time for the red ball is going to be T minus 2.8. So T minus 2.8 and then minus 0.5 G. And then the T red is going to be a red ball is going to be T minus 2.8 to the squared. Um, so you just solve this algebraically. The only thing you need to um, consider too is the direction of the velocity of each one. Because in the beginning of the question they gave us as take up um, as the position direct positive direction take up as a positive direction so going up is positive going down is negative okay so we know the acceleration is always going to be negative that's why we have this negative signs in here okay and for the velocity for the blue ball going up is going to be what was the speed of that it was 22.6 so VIB is going to be positive 22.6 and then for the VI red is going to be negative 9 point what was it 9.7 yeah, 9.7 okay that's the only thing you need to worry about and then just solve it algebraically so take this to the other side and then just solve for it solve for T and take T to the other side and then find what the value of T um, you don't have to worry about the t squared because they're going to cancel on both sides because they're going to be the same value so they're going to cancel together um, what I did is I used um, where was it, where is it I plugged it in, hold on a second so go to Wolfram Alpha and then plug in your numbers in there to make it easier for you and then you're gonna get the answer which was what was the answer the answer is not showing in here my computer it was showing that's weird let's see so 4.832 the v no hold on 16.9 divided by 4.832 and that will give you 3.49 okay so here I don't know if you guys can see it in here the 8.32 x minus 16.9048 that will give you the answer which is 3.49 you can see it 3.49 okay or you can just solve it um, using your hand because in the exam you can't use programs but for the sake of this problem okay so the answer for this one was 3.49 and I know all my answers are right because um, 
you know, it was giving me the right answer in the Flippy physics. So for number six now, which plot correctly shows the velocity of the two balls as a function of time? So for this question, the answer is going to be B for it. Okay, just because when you look at the red, the red line, it started. Uh, both of them are linear. Both of them are going in in a linear way after they fall down because this is a velocity of it. And then when you take derivative of the velocity, um, it's gonna be a straight line, not a parabola. Yeah, now, now I got it, I lost it for a second. Okay, and then the, the red ball is going in the negative direction and it's faster because it started with um, uh, velocity going down. It started with some um, value. And then which statement is true about the blue ball after it has reached its maximum height on falling back? The answer for that was, because I can't see the answers, was the acceleration is negative and it is speeding up. Okay. Alright guys, hope that helps. Um, sorry, I paused for a second. But if you need anything, just email me and let me know and I'll, I'll try to help you guys. Alright, see you in the next video.